Hello, I'm Rachel Jones for the Finance News Network. Joining me today from Netlinx is Executive Chairman and CEO James Teolis. James, welcome back to the network. Thank you for having me back. Now, Netlinx is a developer of peer-to-peer -peer networks via its software that makes networks invisible to hackers. How is progress? Progress is significant. Um, we've now got uh, China, um, where we formed the joint venture to go to market with iSoftstone, which is called iLink All. Um, is a short form name. Uh, we've won two significant contracts. Um, one is still in, in preparation, which is with the Beijing Authority and deals with the coronavirus. Um, and people are using our software to remotely connect to the office from home as part of the Chinese government's uh, policy of preventing people from going to work to spread the virus. In addition to that, we've announced a significant contract um, out of Chengdu, uh, which is in Sichuan. Um, that contract is a water treatment plant. It's World Bank sponsored. It's a private-public partnership. Um, and we're involved right at the start from design right through to the implementation of the platform. And then there will also be a revenue to follow using our platform ongoing. Uh, in addition to that, we've also bought a business in Australia called SSI Pacific. Um, that is our go-to market strategy for Australia and New Zealand. Um, that is a business that's been around several years um, and that's an exciting go-to market strategy for us as well. Now let's talk about your agreement for the virtual secure network in the province. What can you tell me about this project? Sanitation is a big, big issue for China, um, as it is for other parts of the world. We've got 81 million people that live in Sichuan. Um, in Chengdu, it's a city of about 20 odd million. Uh, therefore, water sanitation is, is critical uh, to everyday functionality for its society. So the project is the first significant water treatment plant project that's been undertaken by the municipality in partnership with the private sector. It's a World Bank sponsored project. Uh, the outlay for it is about 150 million US dollars. Um, and that's just the, the phase one of the project. So from that standpoint, um, our software has passed significant tests in order for it to be involved in this project. Uh, other companies that are involved in this project are the likes of Huawei. Um, as I've said, the World Bank is a sponsor. So there, is, there are significant other companies that are participating in this project. And there was probably a lot of competition for selection for this project. Why do you think they chose Netlinx? Uh, we were selected because of the quality of our software and its capability. Our software in China has won two awards uh, in the last 12 months. Um, obviously, we have the IoT lab in Beijing. Uh, which has helped us get that business. Uh, but more importantly, it's a secure, uh, cyber-protected network using software. Um, and that's what the government's looking to implement to control its water treatment plant and all the data remains secure between all the various devices that are co connected via that network and that platform. And James, work has already started on the project. What phase are you in now? Phase one of the project has started um, and that was on the 20th of February. Um, it's now in the design phase, so we have uh, engineers via our joint venture, uh, iLink All, involved in the project today. So the first stage is to design the actual network and platform, uh, and then it's to execute it. And to the last question now, James, how important is the project and how important is it for Netlinx in China? This is a key infrastructure project, um, and uh, at, on several occasions I've said that our software is software infrastructure. Obviously, it's a project that will go for at least 12 to 18 months um, in its build and, and completion stage. Uh, this will allow us to demonstrate the capability of the, of the software um, on a grand scale in terms of the size of the project. Um, it also will demonstrate how Netlinx will generate long-term revenue and how we will make money uh, in the future. James Teolis, thanks very much for the update. Thank you for having me.